What's going on guys? Welcome back to the shop. Today I'm just gonna make a quick follow-up video um, for one that I made a couple years ago uh, and that was the one about the Simon Eyes Platinum car cover. Um, so yeah, it's been a good two, three years I think since I made that video so definitely a lot of time to see if it actually worked and uh, yeah, today I'll just give you my opinions on it. So as you can see, the cars are all in the shop now, so I'm not actually using it anymore, but I did have it on there for a few years, and during that time we had some pretty crazy weather uh, for uh, west coast of Canada. It's typically pretty mild, but we got extreme heat, tons of water and rain, and lots of snow, and yeah, these things actually held up pretty good. So I've just got them in the trunk, and uh, I'll pull it out and show you what it looks like after some hard use. So after a few years of uh, being outside in the weather, it's actually in pretty good shape. So this was on the car um, consistently for a couple of years. It didn't come off and uh, yeah, all you can see is a little bit of green staining there. And I was actually really surprised at how well um, it uh, protected my car, considering I think in my original video, I was quite concerned that this wasn't gonna last very long because it does feel like it's made out of um, paper towel, basically. If you've got a car like mine, where it sort of leaks water a little bit and Especially mine, the trunk was the problem spot. Anytime it rained, you'd open the trunk and it'd be full of water. Um, if you've got a car like this and you want to keep the water out, uh, that cover is actually a really good option because I checked it after heavy rain events, heavy snow, and the trunk was completely dry. So um, yeah, it certainly uh, worked for that. I was also surprised at how well it stayed on the car, um, especially during high winds. I don't know if that is because the Volvo is so boxy and it's got these big overhangs where the cover can actually sort of tuck under and the elastic can grip on it. But um, yeah, this thing actually stayed on pretty well for like a non-fitted cover. Um, but keep in mind, you do need to size these appropriately. I believe there's a small, medium, and large, and the ones that I got were mediums, I think. But um, you just want to make sure that they tuck in under here, under your bumpers far enough that uh, they can kind of grab on there. Because yeah, like I said, they're not vehicle specific and they're not uh, very well fitted. But this medium one, I think, uh, did fit the Volvo pretty well. But uh, it not being fitted is kind of a con if you've got something a little bit nicer. So the inside of the cover isn't all that much different from the outside. So in my opinion, that would be a con if you've got a vehicle that's got nice paint. And also in conjunction with this thing not being vehicle specific and fitted, it does kind of flap around a little bit in the wind. So um, again, if you've got nice paint and uh, you wanna keep it swirl free and scratch free, I wouldn't recommend this just because it does move around and when I did check it, there was kind of like dust and and uh, grit kind of under here, so I wouldn't recommend this if you've got a nice car, especially if you've got nice black paint. Um, definitely wouldn't put this on it, but if you, like I said, just want to keep uh, the water out of your car, then yeah, for sure, um, definitely a good option. Well guys, that is my two year review on the Simon Eyes Platinum car cover. Uh, like I said, if you just want to keep water out of an old car like this, um, I highly recommend it because it is quite cheap. Uh, but if you've got something a bit nicer, I would uh, probably spend the extra money and get something fitted, especially something that's got a softer material on the inside. Um, but yeah, for the money, and if you're covering an old car like this, um, yeah, I recommend it. But anyways, that's it for today, so thanks for watching.